the way a band looks is just as important as the way it sounds. It's a whole lot easier to understand a sound when you can see what it looks like. You need to look like your music. You need to act like your music. Recruiting everybody for this band was extremely important. Everybody had to play this role, like a, like a TV series, like it needs to be the right cast, and everybody has to have this secret weapon or this magic ability. No matter what, we have a lot in common, and we have common goals with this band, and common goals of wanting to write great songs and great records. And it really helps that we're really extremely passionate about the same thing. You're unstoppable, no we can. I think the artist has to be like this mythical creature that doesn't really exist, you know, it's just this made up thing. And I think sometimes being so much a part of like Twitter and online stuff, it just kind of kills that. And you just become a normal person, which everybody is obviously, you know, but I think it's really important to kind of remain in mysterious and just be the intangible. It's really hard for me to describe what happens on the stage. Like we're all natural born entertainers. It's athletic, fun, and it's just as much of like a performance as like seeing a play or, or any any performance you'd see. Like like movements are thought about and like and practiced and like figured out and failed many times. Like we've all hurt ourselves often. It's like beautiful chaos. No, we can't. Making a record is extremely difficult. One of our friend producers, he said, there's two things in the world you should never see being made. One of them is a record and the other is a hot dog. We are unstoppable. The thing that's different about this album, in my opinion, is, you know, normally our albums are kind of plug in and go. But this, we kind of took our time and we were really tedious with every song. And we kind of experimented with going the opposite way with like some shiny sound and stuff. John Feldman produced our record. He was kind of the first one to really believe in us. He, I think he saw us at a show or something and just loved it. And it wouldn't be the same record without him. He pushed us a lot. Yeah. He pushed us outside of our, our comfort zone and I think we did the same to him. We pushed him outside of his comfort zone. I like to think that when you're writing, the music's just out there. It's just kind of out there and you're the, you're the vessel. You can open up and just let it come through you. You know, uh, it's kind of a nice idea to think that you're just the hand that writes it down or you're the, you know, you're the hands that play it or, you know, whatever it may be. No, be Nothing's cool until it's made cool. So if you're pioneering something, it's gonna feel wrong at first because it hasn't been done yet, you know? But as long as you stick with it and keep doing it and be confident about it, people will start realizing that you just did something new and you're doing it right, it's just new. Oh Lord is, is actually about my son. I'm a young father, I have two kids. It's a difficult thing to be a touring musician full time and have a family at home. And my family is extremely supportive. So I wrote this song for my son and he's probably too young to really understand what it means now, but I look forward for him to kind of listen to it as an older kid and see that I wrote a song about him and stuff. That'll be cool. So this song is just kind of my, what do you call it when you write a song, for, when you do something? Ode. Yeah, an ode to my son.